you know, it pains me to have to whack this man when really I should be whacking this man. Catch it? Because honestly and truly, the only joystick that I'm trying to be playing with is the games. But y'all look weirdos. And it's getting more evident by the day. Let's talk about it. I know y'all want to get to the tea, and baby, we will. But for those of y'all that's been living under a rock, baby, my name is Scott Santana. I've only been on YouTube since I was 2016. Started off going viral, telling stories about my crazy life. A couple of years later, I started doing ratchet recipes, went viral on TikTok. Then I opened up a channel, a lot of souls, where I was, you know, using my spiritual and psychic gifts to help the girls and whip them back into alignment. In other words, baby, she's gifted. And see, now I'm here to share all of those gifts on one channel. Beside me, whether it's a deep dive, a commentary video, cooking music, Reading harvest shows. Baby, if I want to upload a video of me picking my nose and breathing for 60 minutes, I'm into it. My house, my rules. I mean, I just ask that y'all follow me over on Twitter so I can stop talking to myself. And before you go and try to seek help and seek therapy, baby, seek me. Go to my website and book yourself a personal reading if you need one. Now, feel free to sound off in the comments, but be respectful and act like you got that act right. Now, this channel is for critical thinkers. We may not always agree. You may not always even like me. But one thing's for sure, your life will be changed after experiencing me. So subscribe. Now, enough of me rambling, child. I think we made it past the part that was needed to get this video on. Let's get into it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. <laughs> What is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for another. What are we back? Chill. <laughs> what are we back for? Oh, uh, let's talk about it. Okay, listen. Y'all, listen. Y'all swear that this is a very channel, but it's not. It's not. It's a commentary. It's a social commentary channel. And you know, every once in a while, we do get around to talking about other people's business outside of Zeus Network and the deities. Okay, so that's what we're back for. That's what we beg for, okay? Because I'm not going to hold y'all. I don't care how long ago this post was posted. I saw this conversation happening last week, and immediately I had an opinion. I had things to say. So I still got things to say. And you know what I said? You know what? Before I go and I try to do all of these other videos, again, I don't care how much time passes, I need to get up here and say something. Because one thing y'all going to stop doing is normalizing this weirdo, weirdo behavior. Y'all tried to get away with that mess about a month ago, okay, about two months ago with the teacher. And then when all the things hit the fan and all the things about his, mm, I, mm, I'm not cursing, I'm not cursing. When everything came out about his creepy self, nobody no longer cared. The story was bubbly. Y'all had moved on to the next. And then now with this situation, y'all just trying to normalize certain things and then y'all trying to gaslight like the public and the people. And not on my watch. Absolutely not on my watch. So go ahead and like this video so we could go ahead and get into her. Yes, I am the leader of the new school. Bring a cat in a whole lot of new clothes. Giving the guys with the shit, get the people. And this body, this song gets three through out. Now I don't want to kiki ho. This shit right here on repeat, yo. Now I can't, when are y'all gonna see me though? In charge of the girls, that's chi chi ho. I'm the motherfucking queen of the shit. Who you know, running up the green till it's lit. Throwing ass in the digits, turn on my head, took a bitch talk shit, then it shout to the lives, bitch. All my bitches say ignorant. All my bitches say hella bit. All my bitches say in the club, fellas, you can't handle it. Okay, so social media users debate whether the game's photos with his daughter are too intimate. Y'all sexualize everything. 
I don't see the problem with these pictures. He taking a normal picture with his daughter. Do y'all see a problem with these pictures? Father and daughter. Now, the fact that you had to... Because <laughs> I promise you, we're not going to be here too long. I promise you, we're not going to be here too long. Because I'm, to, I'm about to do a combo swipe. Okay? Fuck a two-piece. Okay? I'm getting all of y'all at once. Okay? Like a bucket of chicken. I'm getting all of y'all at once. Okay? I'm going to whack all of y'all. The fact that you even had to put in the, in the, in the tweet... In parentheses, father and daughter. No, baby, don't don't try and go and neutralize it. Don't don't go and try and soften the blow. No, you should have just asked. Do y'all feel like these these pictures? Like, how do y'all feel about these pictures? That's what the question should have been. How do y'all feel about these pictures? Right? Because what people are not understanding is that the reason why there is controversy behind these pictures. I why am I not on camera? Because I'm sitting here. I'm like my whole face is done. Like I could be on camera right now. Do I want to be on camera? Girl, let me go ahead and get on camera. Hold on. Psych, y'all thought, never mind, never mind, never mind. I really was about to get up and get on camera. Then I was like, mm, I don't feel like it. I'm real comfortable in bed. Real comfortable in bed. Oh, Chad, I pressed the wrong button. But yeah, like y'all trying to be cute and creative. Just go ahead and ask, okay, like, oh, uh, look at the game and see how people react. Because when you look at these photos, I'm sorry and miss me with the, oh, she clearly looks 12. Oh, that's clearly a kid, girl. <laughs> Was the game not recently linked to Shanice, okay, aka Evelyn? You want to talk about my daughter? You want to talk about my daughter? Jackie, you want to talk about my daughter? My daughter's a whore? Was the game recently not linked to her? And then when I was doing research for this topic, apparently they was linked back together all the way. You know what? Let's go. Let's, 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 because, you know, the games that y'all play. The games that y'all play. The games that y'all play. Okay. The games that y'all play. Okay. They were spotted together right around Christmas. Okay. Right around Christmas. Right around Christmas. You see the date? December 26, 2023. Okay. And look at game. It's fine. Er, oh, that is a fine couple right there. What? Are you kidding me? I've always had the biggest crush on the game. The biggest. He would love me to listen. Because <laughs> I know some stuff. He would love me. Oh, oh. Okay. But I always thought that Shawnee was cute. So I thought she was real cute. Okay, so they make a cute couple. Okay, so I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Okay, at 30, I would love to date a... Well, I'm in a relationship. But if I wasn't, I would I would most definitely date somebody that was 45. I like older men. And that looked like the game? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay? That beard, how thick his body is, his swag, the way he... Oh, my God. I love it all. I love it all. The reform thug of it all. Okay, need me a Dr. Dre or Rick Ross. Ooh. Okay, a reformed thug. Okay, you know your way around the streets, but you're not still in them. You might drive past every once in a while, but you're not standing out in the corner with the corner boys. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got too much to lose. The game is cute. He is real cute to me. Oh, let me pull this pants up. My bad. But the point that I'm making is that right around Christmas, these pictures came out. And of course, you know, a lot of people had things to say. Of course, you got some people that's like me that's like, oh, he cute or whatever. Like, she groans. Y'all know how the goalposts be moving anytime y'all actually like a person or pretty privilege or colorism, you know, throwing the excuse. But then, you know, at the same time, it's just like, okay, we see him scaling younger. He's clearly 45 and the girl is clearly um, 30. So, like, clearly he's scaling younger. Okay. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What y'all not about to sit here and do on my internet that I pay for. And sit here and act like nowadays we're not living in a Kylie, Kylie Jenner led generation where 16 year olds are now looking like they 35. Okay. We're not going to sit and act like there's not this whole social media debate on TikTok about Gen Z versus millennials and who looks younger. And you got millennials like, no, I look good for my age because I'm actually my age. You think you look good, but you look my age. So you're aging faster. There's a whole debate. And my point is, is that nowadays with these kids looking older or whatever, like, 
I understand that people sexualize everything, but when you live in, in a world that's run on Duncan, okay, well, that claims that it's run on Duncan, but it's run on pedophilia, when you live in a world where, yes, every time you turn around, there's a sexual assault allegation from, from a Diddy, from a, um, I mean, with a Diddy, with a Bill Cosby, with a R. Kelly, like, you just got to be mindful. You got to be mindful. And then, especially considering the fact that didn't, at some point, the game have an open sexual assault case? From that little show that he filmed on VH1 like 10, 15 years ago. So it's just like there are things there. There are things there, there's enough reasons there for people to be skeptical and be like, uh uh-uh, uh, what we doing? Because unless you follow the game like that, and last time I checked, he's not relevant. Last time I checked, he's not on the on the radio. Last time I checked, he's not on, you know, trending on Spotify. Last time I checked, he's not trending on Twitter. Last time I checked, he not in the words of people's mouths. Last time I checked, he ain't been a thought since what? September? No, not September. The Super Bowl 2022 when they did the whole little Dr. Dre halftime show. And that's no shade, but that's facts. So let's not act and sit and, you know, try to try to act like we all know what him, his daughter look like. Because we don't. Now, do they favor each other? Yes, of course. Obviously, like once you study the picture, it's like, oh. They kind of look alike. But at first glance, that looked like his bitch. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just got to call it out. We just got to call it out. Because like I said, I'm not I'm not about to be here for long. We're not about to spend an hour sitting here BSing. That looked like his chick. That looked like a girl that he... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if you don't want me to say that, then don't put out pictures that look like this. I'm sorry. These are pictures that me and my man take. Huh? These are pictures that me and my ninja take. These are a little too intimate for me. A little too intimate for me. But I forgot, I'm talking to people that still walk around like, oh, I'm 35 and I still kiss my mother on the lips. Yeah, and your ass is nasty too. Y'all nasty too. Cut it out. Cut it out. I don't know why people think that just because they come out and be like, oh, I do it too, that that actually normalizes the behavior and excuses the behavior. It doesn't. Just like with the teacher situation, everybody in their mama was coming out like, oh, I used to do this. I used to do that. Even my own mother, who was a teacher, was like, child, have they? <laughs> I was taking kids home. I said, not, nah, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. She was like, no, you know, you're, you're, the one you thought was your cousin? Yeah, that was actually a student. I was like, don't say that now. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, no. Because at the end of the day, it's still weird behavior. It's still weird. If I could look at a picture and be like, oh, they fucking? Then something is off. Then, then something is off. If I if I take a quick glance at a picture and I'm thinking, oh, who is new girlfriend? Then something is off. Then something is off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put a teddy bear in between y'all. Bring out a coloring book, maybe. Um, maybe happy Father's Day balloon, like something to let the people know that this is a parent and child relationship. Because I'm sorry, when I look at fine ass game and the fact that he likes to date younger, okay, and the fact that this is Holly Weird, okay, and the fact that these rappers be having new chicks every other day, especially younger, I'm sorry. If I'm quickly scrolling on Instagram and I see some intimate pictures like this, Call me whatever, but I'm thinking that they in bed together, that they in cahoots knocking boots. I'm sorry, and I know I'm not the only one, but apparently I guess so, because if you go through the comments, child, and we're going gonna to start with my comments. I say y'all are being dense. Affection is one thing, but these pictures are triggering because the poses are extremely intimate, and if we didn't know that this was his kid, you probably assume it was his chick because... Couples pose this way. Y'all not posing with y'all friends like this, so please. And you know what? Let me stop right there because that's another thing. Everybody like, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. I pose like this with my daddy. I pose like this with my mama. Y'all, like I said, y'all is nasty too. Just because y'all coming out and, you know, announcing, okay, that y'all are just as nasty doesn't excuse this behavior. If you don't post pictures like this with your friends, that should tell you something, Okay. But I said, so please, everything ain't a think piece or a y'all ain't had father's conversation. This is called boo loving. These poses is boo loving. Loving your kid, be affectionate, but not like this. Now you go through the comments, you got people like, 
man y'all wear that man loving his daughter is a problem if he was absent that would be a problem too stop moving the goalpost stop moving the goalpost tamika stop moving the goalpost tamika okay because we could bring up how you and dreadhead okay you and dead son was playing around in that little toxic relationship for 15 20 years because of your codependency and abandonment issues let's not go ahead and clock your tea tammy let's not let's not I don't think you're the right person to step into this conversation, sis. So let's, how about you sit this one out? Let's sit this one out. Okay. Ain't it pride month? Let's focus on your daughter. Okay. Happy pride to her. Okay. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing that she has accepted parents. But let's focus on that. Step out of this conversation, Tammy. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, he's doing too much. Definitely. I feel what y'all saying, but I'm not taking pics like this with my pops. Love him dearly, but no. Right. Like, why is that so hard to understand? Then don't. But to comment on somebody else's relationship is, I don't know, just as rare as y'all think the poses are. Just like you're following the shade room and you're commenting. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Y'all so unrealistic. Why wouldn't somebody else comment? This is social media. Right. Man, getting flack for loving on his daughter. Sick people on the internet. Okay, so if he was sitting here and had a finger inside her, you could make the same argument. Man is getting flack for loving his daughter. I mean, y'all didn't say how he could love his daughter, right? Like, stop with the semantics. Please stop. Please stop. I hate when people I hate when people play these ISS in school suspension games. Like, girl, because I can tell that you skipped a couple of classes. Please. I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not. I'm not taking the same pictures with my father or with my child that I would with my man. What is what is so hard about that to understand? If people can glance at a picture and and think that you two are in a relationship without knowing your actual relation, then that is too intimate. That is too intimate. Not going to lie, the last one took me out. I just leave it there. Happy Father's Day. Let's see what's the last one. Let's take a look at the pictures. That's not weird, y'all. That's not weird, y'all. That's weird. And she just as weird for hugging on him like that. I'm sorry. Both of y'all is weird. Y'all give me that y'all y'all want some chat. And let me take it a step further, right? Because y'all be like loving on the daughter, loving on the daughter. I'm very unconditional. Not unconditional. <laughs> Not unconditional, child. Damn, was I in ISS too? <laughs> I'm very unconventional. Okay? So hear me when I say I'm very unconventional. So I get, you know, wanting a little bit different type of lifestyle. And I, 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 I'm I, familiar with, you know, nude culture and all of that or whatever. That's not something that I would necessarily practice with my children. But I'm familiar but some would say that, you know, that's a part of a loving environment or whatever, right? Because y'all sexualize everything, right? So don't go ahead and sexualize new culture because there are families out there that really go to the new beach together and they live at home new, like they believe that's their lifestyle, right? And y'all saying not to sexualize everything. Okay, well, what if you found out that they was posing like that and didn't have any clothes on? Now think about those same poses as they don't have clothes on because don't sexualize everything. And let's see where your mind goes to. And don't say, no, Sky, it's something different. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because if you're telling me not to look at these pictures and not to sexualize it, then I'm going to tell you, let's think of nudist and nudist families and how that isn't something that's sexualized because it's a lifestyle. Would those same poses still be appropriate? Let's go through the comments again. You are weird, mother effort, if you think the game and daughter pictures are weird. The fact that y'all think a father showing his daughter affection is so weird to me, like, that should not stop at the age of three. Not everybody's father is weird. Like, I get it's a trigger for most women, but if you can't trust the man you had a child with, why the F are you having a baby with them? Y'all just be assuming, especially when it comes to black men. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all love throwing that word out there. You on a black blog about black people talking to black people, commenting about black people and the black experience, bringing up black, bringing up being black. Please make it make sense. I don't understand why y'all do that dumb shit. You were on a black blog that is a post about black people in the comment section with other black people. 
and you are black talking to black people about black people and then you feel the need to bring up being black. I really want y'all to start understanding how retarded y'all sound when you bring up race for no reason. For no reason. And y'all do it and y'all use it as a crutch. And I want to smack the living taste out of y'all mouth every time that y'all do it. Because it's, it's not serving the purpose that you think it is. It's really not. It's really not. Because what y'all going to stop doing is tethering my identity to struggle. There's more to being black than struggling. I hope y'all know that. There's more to being black than being disrespected and abused. So please stop tethering my identity to my blackness and, 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 and equating it to struggle. Stop doing that. But she says y'all just be assuming, especially when it comes to black men. You know, because black men are y'all kings. You know, y'all worship the day. Mm -hmm. Just because your uncle likes his nieces doesn't mean every other black man is like that. And this is another reason why so many women have daddy issues. Okay, that is not the reason why women have daddy issues. That is not the reason why women have daddy issues. Y'all just literally get on Beyonce's internet and say everything. That is not the reason. So you mean to tell me that women have daddy issues because there's people on the shade room thinking that the game posing with his daughter is inappropriate? Women have daddy issues because they think that a man who's obviously being too overtly sexually inappropriate and intimate is wrong. Like, y'all really just be self diagnosing and saying BS. Somebody else says it feels more about who we know the game to be. So it just makes the photos off putting. I mean, that adds to it, but not really. Because like I said, I still, I, I'm attracted to him. I don't even think about the lawsuits. I'm attracted to him. But it's still inappropriate. You can tell the girls who didn't have dads in their lives. It's sad. No, 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 no. What, that's what y'all not going to do is sit here and gaslight all of us and be like, just because you ain't had your daddy in your life. Okay, but some people had uncles. Some people had grandfathers. Okay, I, listen, I didn't have my father around when I was growing up. That's why I'm about and still don't get and never will. Okay, but at the end of the day, I guess who I did have? I had my father's father. Mm -hmm. Crazy how that works, right? My father was in my life, but my father's father was in my life. Very much, very heavily involved throughout my childhood. So please miss me with the, oh, da, 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 da. and he was extremely affectionate. Extremely, like extremely affectionate. Okay? But miss me with all that. Miss me with all that. Okay? He acts weird with her. Yes, I had a dad and we're close and I sit on my dad's lap and give him kisses. I don't have trauma around it. Okay, first of all, kisses on the lips is too much. You could give a kiss on the cheek and blah, 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 but kisses on the lips is too much. I don't care what culture you're from, girl. Fuck your culture. I don't give a damn. I, I'm sorry. Don't get into my kind. Ah, but what we do in the Latina, you know, in, in the corners of San Juan and what we do down here in, you know, Jamaica in the Caribbean, I don't care. It's nasty. Y'all are nasty. Girl, I don't care. I don't care what y'all doing. Your it's nasty. It's nasty. I'm not doing with my mother and my father what I do with my men. I'm sorry, after you turn, listen, because I, let, let's just keep it completely honest. And if child, if this video don't get monetized, they just don't get monetized. But let's just keep it completely honest. I'm sorry, the second that you start eating pussy, eating ass and sucking dick, it, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I don't know where the hell your lips been. I don't know where it's been. It's boundaries that y'all y'all really have a problem with boundaries, and it's becoming clear every single day. And y'all want to sit and talk about some deep stuff. Oh, that's why the girls have daddy issues. And no, 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 no. You want to get deep for a second? Then let, let's take it there. Black people have a problem with boundaries because it, it got to be some in, in, inner intellectual, you know, working from slavery, generational trauma that's been passed down. Because when it comes to rules and regulations and things being put in place, I swear we turn into the most rebellious motherfuckers out there. Oh, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. This is my family. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to move how I want. And then when she hit the fan... Then you want to be mad. You out here doing any type of poses with your kid, then when you get looked at as a pedophile or it, people are looking at it like it's inappropriate, now you want to be mad. You out here breaking rules that you know you're not supposed to be breaking, but then when your ass end up in jail, 
Okay, then all of a sudden we supposed to be marching down on Selma with the, with the picket fences and, and, and protesting. That's what be killing me. That's really what be killing me. It's called boundaries. There's a reason why, like even with kids, they say get the kid off the nipple before a certain age because you don't want to build that type of bond. But it's very clear that a lot of y'all are very comfortable with having that whole Tommy, Kate Egan, Lil Scrappy with Mama D, Jim Jones with um his mother, like them very inappropriate, weird relationships. And then especially too, because it ain't nothing but women in the comments coming up. That's another part too. That's another part to the situation too, because you don't see too many men in the comments agreeing with this. It's all women. The same ones that's out here that's my son is king. My son, like y'all be treating y'all sons like, like y'all fucking them. Y'all be treating y'all sons like y'all married to them. Like they the father of the house. Like they the man of the house. It's all y'all black is king. My son is king. My son can do no wrong. I'm Mama D to a little scrappy. I helped you get your first vagina. It's all of y'all that's sitting here defending this weirdo behavior. It's weird. It's weird. Let me take it on over to Twitter. Let me take it on over to Twitter. Let me take it on over to Twitter. Okay, because I, I posted a couple of things. And like I said right here, I'm not being affectionate with my father the same way I love on my nigga. What is wrong with people? This conversation over the game is not that hard to understand. People trying to turn it into a fatherless home thing piece, but it's not even that deep. Where is the post? Where is the post? Because I posted. Wait, hold on. Let me get back into this. Oh, yeah, that game was fun. I can't wait to play that again. Chill. Where is the pictures? Let me see. Where is the pictures? Where is the pictures? Because I, I thought I posted pictures. I really thought I posted pictures on my timeline of examples. Child, I didn't. But we just we just gonna go to um we just gonna go. Let me see. We just gonna go to these pictures. Right, we just gonna go to these pictures, right? Because I don't understand how y'all think this is appropriate. I don't, like certain poses. I'm not being in with my daddy. Certain poses. I'm not being in with my kid. I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm just not. And you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Matter of fact, y'all can go like the video. I'm about to post a few more examples to my Twitter so I can show y'all on screen. find the pictures I was looking for, but honestly, at this point, if you still don't understand what I'm saying, if you still don't understand what I'm saying, then you just, you just slow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, nobody's saying that the game is sexually, you know, that he, S.A. and his daughter. Nobody's saying that. Nobody even thinks that. 
okay? We simply just saying the poses is, is inappropriate, okay? And for people to try and take this conversation and then turn it into something else and, oh, y'all over-sexualized every... Shut the fuck up. Shut up. The poses is too intimate. It's not even about over-sexualizing, okay? Because we don't even have to bring sex into it. It's just too intimate. It's too intimate. It's completely too intimate. It's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Not going to lie. Coming from an affectionate dad, even this is still too much for me. Honestly, if I didn't know they were father and daughter at first glance, I would have thought this was a couple. Boom. Point blank, the period. That's the problem. Point blank in the period. Honestly, if I didn't know they were father and daughter at first glance, I would have thought this was a couple. Point blank, boom, the period. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else to discuss at all. If you and your child or you and your parent can get mistaken as a couple because y'all are too close and because of the way that y'all are posing, then y'all need to cut it the f out. Point blank, period. Nothing else to discuss. Find another way to be affectionate. Find another way to be loving. Like, y'all really just be... Ex Is that two, two, two? Everybody say, hey, spirit. Now go to my website. And if it's down, then DM me. So book a reading, okay? But y'all really just be excusing. Excusing weirdo behavior. My sister just made me come back to this picture because I just seen this early and scrolled past it because I thought it was him and his girlfriend. This is his daughter? His daughter? His daughter? I'm sorry. Listen, at this point, I'm just repeating myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, y'all are being weird in the con Just because you and your mama and y'all be kissing and tongue kissing and you still be touching on your mama titties and she see you naked when you come in the room and, you know, you was using the bathroom while your mother was in the shower and your mother not afraid to be naked in front of you and you know what her vagina look like and she know what your wee-wee at 23 look like. Just because y'all be doing all that weirdo shit don't mean the rest of us, though. Y'all excusing dumb behavior weirdo behavior and y'all are weird y'all are weird y'all are weird y'all are weird there's nothing that you can say to stop you from looking weird just like how y'all was defending defending that weirdo teacher a month ago okay and then it came out that he was sitting there sexualizing over you know trying to flirt with a, with a teenager okay and then the more you dug into his videos you realize that he was given ma from the movie ma he was given overgrown teenager that, that now became an adult and he's seeking validation from teenagers. But y'all excuse the hell out of that. But my teacher, when I be, okay, okay, and you're a victim too. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Child, I wish I would. I wish I would. Like, it's really just so simple. If people can mistake y'all being a couple, then <laughs> you're too intimate. You're too close. You're like, it, it, something's off. Change it. It's literally that simple. They shouldn't be all of it. Well, me and my mama and Emma, well, you know, we go to the park. We ate some Chinese food. Then we sucked on one lollipop. Then we sucked on two lollipops. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Shout out to those that know this one. But I'm done. I said I was going to talk about it long, and I talked about it for 30 minutes too long. Let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below as if I give a Okay, and as if that's going to excuse you from still being a weirdo if you don't agree. And definitely make sure that you go and you like, um, you go listen to my music and support my music, okay? Go to my website. If it's down, then DM me. Get a read and Tea times are coming, so be on the lookout for that, okay? And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm bad, I'm pretty, hot to ditty. Thick ass shape, any sick ass city. Pussy on fire, cause she stay giving kitty. Bring the whole town and every time I'm in your city. I'm the bitch that you wanna be round. See, I'm the bitch, I'm the one with the crown. And I'm the bitch bringing cake by the pound. Tell me on my knees, every day blinds, bitch, I'm going down. Deadly ass top dope game is a killer. Stomach is available to be a babysitter. No need to be shy, put the thing up in it. Nothing wrong with a late night dinner, nigga. <laughs> Shake that thing in the middle.